What's up my toes? It is Jonathan aka the Toe Bro and you my toes are looking at my toe. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, May, Foot Hell Month. I really tried my best to do as many videos as I can. I ended up doing 22 videos in the month. So it was pretty good. At the very end, it was a little stressful and I needed to take a break. But uh, I really enjoyed it and I learned a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I'm going to try to continue to do videos throughout the month every now and then. So switching it up between surgical or foot care treatments and educational videos because I, I think you guys really like that. So this was the first video. Um, well, the first video of last month was about my toe and I'm going to try to start it off again with my toe. So this is one month of growth and I haven't trimmed this nail at all, neither has my other nails. So they haven't grown too much. Um, yes, I did trim these little hairs here, but yeah, that's that. As we can see, the nail underneath is starting to grow out. It's shiny little bump that's hiding underneath here. People think that a new nail grows in just like these, nice pink attached with a nice end. No, the nail actually grows like a wave and it rolls its way forward. And that's why it kind of forms like a bump. Think of it like a wave. So it grows like that bump and then the bump just rolls forward and that's the new nail. Here, this is still pink so this is still attached. This has really turned dark and from first glance looking up close people might think this is nail fungus. It's brown, yellowish. Uh, and it does look like nail fungus, but to me, knowing that I had trauma, knowing that the nail got damaged, I know that this got lifted. So there's a few things we can do with this toenail. One, I can just leave it. And what will happen as the new nail continues to grow in, this will continue to grow out. Two, this looks lifted to me and it's catching. So I can actually pull it off. And if I was just at home or, you know, I didn't have any access to help, I would just take a nail cutter and trim this all off or even peel it off. And th or three, you can go see a foot specialist who can file this down in a safe manner because it's sometimes hard to reach our feet. I actually did pick a little corner, uh, I think yesterday, which was prompting me to make this video because before I know it, I'm going to pick this whole thing out. I'm a picker. Uh, I love picking scabs and that's why everyone who comes in after a procedure I'm, and, and they pick the scab, I totally understand. I know that feeling. So here, this nail's lifted. So if I was to actually just, without gloves, without like, this is something that people would do at home, I'm doing just like everyone else. Some people would just pick this off and you know, it doesn't hurt. Oh my, oh my gosh, they, it is completely dead and lifted. So this nail, I'm really, again, scared doing this, but doesn't hurt. I know that this nail is dead and lifted. Underneath is the healthy attached nail. So some people might just go about ripping this, pulling this stuff off, because it is just dead. So I'm gonna try to give it a little go, pulling it off myself. Um, and then I'm actually going to use the tool that I always use, the file, to smooth everything out. So the goal for me, when I, if people come into the office with this, is to file off the dead portion so the new healthy nail can come in nice and easy. So this white line is just all the nail that's been completely lifted. So normally I trim that back or file it back. You can really see the darkness in this nail. That's all dry blood, dry lifted nail. I hope. Oh yeah, it's all dry. This is all just dead lifted nail and underneath is the new nail coming in. So I'm trying to give you guys a good view without blocking but again, you could just pull this stuff off. Maybe I might slow-mo this. Ooh. That is hard. So again, this was the dead damaged nail on top of the new nail that's growing underneath. So when you look up close, you can see there's dis discoloration. The moment a nail is lifted, it looks more yellow. And with the dry blood underneath, it does look a lot like fungus. Uh, taking a first glance at my new nail, it looks relatively healthy. I still see some brown, uh, brown spots and that's still more dried blood. So again, if this happens to you at home, you can trim the lifted nail off um, just to get the dead stuff off and allow the new one to come in or you could just leave it. 
and uh, if you're lucky enough you can go see a foot specialist to trim it off so all this should be trimmed off this corner here and I'm gonna smooth out the skin so I'm gonna use that water file on myself this is the first time I've ever done this on myself so I'm really curious how it feels um, and how it goes let's see if I have the same aim a lot of women are scared to trim the nail back or to have this lifted portion so they leave the nail intact and allow the whole thing to grow out but then they finally get so loose and lifted and sometimes it's better just to trim it off so let's file this down I can see that yeah the new nail underneath is a little sensitive it's not too thick um, but that is new nail that's growing underneath. That's what it looks like, that bump there. So I'm gonna shave off the lifted portion, just touch this so all the ridges are off, and basically we just keep the dead stuff off and allow the new nail to come in. So what I actually use, so you guys can see up close, it's a drill bit that has these little teeth and that's just what pulls the nail off at a really high speed. So let's. I'm a little far away, but I'm gonna try my best to do this on myself. Usually I have a, another paper towel with me. I'm gonna keep this and let's see if I can file my own nail. Whew, it's, it's a nice cool breeze. So if you feel any pain, you let me know. <laughs> Ooh, so different doing it to yourself. I would be pretty scared of having some stranger touch my toe with this thing. Yeah, it's a little sensitive. It doesn't hurt, but you just feel a little bit more pressure on the new nail. getting the feeling of it now on my own toe because I'm pretty aggressive when I file so I really give you guys props for trusting me all my patients letting me do this this is pretty scary oh yeah it's sensitive it doesn't hurt but you just feel it a little bit more and I'm not so close to my toe I can't see as well how much more I can take So clean up the corner nice, there's some dry blood in there, if I can reach it, I don't think I can reach it, there's some little brown spot there, we got that off, I'll smooth the cuticle out a little bit, there's some dry skin on here, I'll try to see if I can smooth that out, ooh, that's sensitive. Okay. This is nice. It's like having a little toe bath. So this is, you can see already pretty quick. That's all new nail. I'll get the, my foot off the pedal. Up to here, up to my thumb, that's all new nail that's already in here. So it's looking pretty good. Still a lot of dry dead skin. I'll try to shave off every now and then. But yeah, you can see much healthier once we get the old dead lifted nail off. Perfect. Okay. Huh. Sensitive. Okay. Very good. So every now and then I touch the skin on patients. Sometimes it bleeds a little bit. It's just like a little pinch. Doesn't hurt too much. But yeah, I could feel a little bit. It still is a little long. I'll file that down too. There we go. So, let me put that away. So the new nail's all pink, all healthy. That little black spot is still a little bit of dry blood, but the new nail is all good. See, you can see here, that looks like a 
more thicker nail and then it's just moving on so halfway so probably in another four to six months I'll have a, a new nail so it looks pretty good compared to it was before so just to give you guys an update I'm leaving tomorrow uh, 5 in the morning to Orlando doing a presentation down there on Monday so I'm excited uh, and I'll give you an update while I'm down there see what I see and what's going on with the business So there you go guys. There's the update on the toe looking much better feeling better nice and clean If you guys ever suffer from dead lifted nails after trauma You can let it grow out on its own You just trim up here like normal if the nail starts to become lifted or it's really wiggly You can trim off all the dead stuff uh, Yourself and then of course you can do it yourself or you can see a foot specialist who can do it in a nice safe manner There you go. There's a new toenail coming in Say bye toe Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that. Tobro out.